okay this is George from Cherry Creek Refrigeration we're going to talk about evacuating an R290 system and the things you need to do in order to evacuate the R290 system safely okay first post a sign you always need a sign post that says you know danger no smoking propane you need your meter running the whole time you do the R290 then you pierce the low side and then you're gonna pierce the high side and then we're gonna let refrigerant out until the meter starts to go berserk and then we shut it down a little bit meter should hit it here in a second that means there's a pocket of refrigerant so you can hear it coming out of the hoses all right and then there goes the meter so now we cut back our gauges a little bit And we wait. We don't want to pocket. While we wait, we can talk about how we used to have fan guards around these units. So you end up getting dead mice. The mice get stuck in those fans. And then cause those fans not to run no more. Alright, here we go again. We're going to let this start to get the meter once the meter goes full to screaming we're going to shut both of our hoses off again now we wait for the unit and the propane to dissipate the r290 these are the wire nuts you use on r290 they're called spark resistant they have a little flap on them you pull them up and you can easily enough pull the wire out of that so you can see there's still pockets of gas going around and so they come out really nice and easy so those are called spark resistant but why the ground is not all the way to ground I'm not really sure about that one Okay, now we can let propane out again, R290, hydrocarbon refrigerant. Remember, always post your sign. The sign is really important. All right, there goes the meter again. That means there's high concentrate. So we stop again until the meter goes down. What else can we talk about on these units? We can talk about this side over here and how these caps come off. On these new units, the relays and overloads and everything are going to be sealed or turned off. And then, so when you guys pierce these systems, pierce them as far as you can towards the pinch off because you're going to need to use this copper again in this sleeve all that needs to be reused see we're still hitting I haven't even opened my gauges up Still going. Okay, now we're going to open our gauges up again. So finally chilled out. Yeah, look at these new relays. They are crazy. Completely sealed. Um, except for maybe up the top. I don't know. But they're sealed, they say. And the fan motors are electronic now. 
So we're talking about removing hydrocarbon refrigerant from the system. Proper way of evacuation. You need the meter. You need the sign. You need the red tags. And you need to pierce both sides of the system. High and low. See, they used to have mouse guards around these. A wire. They keep those mice from getting hit by those fans. Just luckily enough, that mouse didn't get stuck in the fan motor. Alright, here we go again. Opening gauges. We're almost done now. Takes a few minutes. Alright, we must have another high concentrate. Of okay, and then we wait for the meter to stop. Hydrocarbon. The red sleeves always pinch it towards the end. Like I said, you need all of this too. Especially when you're to pinch them back off again. Alright, let's open them up again. We're almost done now, you can see. No more recovering. But in order to make sure that you get all everything out of the system and safely you don't want no flame or blowtorch around and you can do this in a kitchen as long as you use that meter because we don't want high pockets of gas in a kitchen I'm in a warehouse today though so big warehouse Alright, here we go again. We're almost at the end now. Now what we're going to do is get some nitrogen. We're going to get this nitrogen. We're going to get the nitrogen filled into the system. We're going to blow the rest of the stuff out of the system. With the nitrogen, we're going to purge the system and get the rest of that R290 out. Okay. Our meter is finally relaxed again. This is a gas meter. Um, in case you guys are looking for what type to buy. This one seems to work really good for me. It seems to be a decent meter manufacturer gave it to me for free um, for taking R290 class well, some of your manufacturers might do that for you all right now we're gonna blow some nitrogen through the high side Sounds like my service hose needs to have a new gasket put in it before we start. All right. Now if these new systems do not put too much nitrogen in the system. About 200 pounds about all that these systems can handle. All right. I'm gonna let that nitrogen come out of the system. See, there we go. Still, still, still getting the meter to ring. So now this is nitrogen and R290 mixed together. Just got to keep flushing the system. And you want to be in control of the system by leaving your hoses on, your gauges, and leaving a hose on the floor. 
want to be in control of the system. I know this seems like a pain and a lot of noise, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Alright, look at that. We're almost there. We'll purge it one more time. And then that should be enough of the hydrocarbon out of the system. You can see now that it's mixed with the nitrogen, it's starting to dissipate faster when you turn off your hoses. See? See how fast that dissipated? Alright, let's pump it up one more time. This is our fourth and final purge of the system. All we do is leave the high side connected, take the low side off, and close your low side gauge. Come in through the high side. Only 200 pounds, remember? And we're going to really get that going now. This is the fourth time. Don't do this the third time. You know, we just are looking for any or any other of that hydrocarbon that could be hiding from us. But we don't want to put a blowtorch to these lines. Now we're going to cut them all off with a cutter. The best cutter to get is a smaller cutter. See how my system's really close to that but we're not picking nothing up and what we're doing is we're taking nitrogen in through the filter dryer through the cap tube up to the system and back out right there and you can see That's the proper way to get rid of that 290 hydrocarbon refrigerant. Hey, thanks for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe. I'll do each one of these steps in detail. This is George from Cherry Creek Refrigeration. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, I'm going to go through the proper way of uh, taking refrigerant out of the system. Uh, that's a hydrocarbon R290 refrigerant. So. Thanks for watching, thumbs up and subscribe, watch this video, and hopefully it helps you properly evacuate uh, an R290 system.